How's it going, Williamsburg? Ty Hodges here. It is 3.15. It is Thursday. Put those together, and it is time for the Super Sound Showcase, sponsored by Culture Fix. Thank you to Culture Fix for making this segment possible. Now, we have a real treat in studio with us today. It's weird. I come into my show <laughs> every day, and Robert Hodge is normally packing up. He's getting ready to leave. He's making his way for me. But now he is seated across from me with about three microphones in his face and a beautiful looking keyboard over there and a sound system the likes we do not uh, see often in here. And why is he doing that? Well, he is like I'm having a press conference. Exactly. This is a press (laughs) conference. He has a show coming up here in December. It is a holiday show that you are not going to want to miss. And so what better timing than to bring him in for the holidays for his inaugural performance on WMBG. So Robert Hodge... Welcome into the studio. Thank you, Ty. It is a, a very familiar setting for me. Does it look di- does it look different from that side of the, it uh, does. the, the and, table? And, and this is actually as many times as even before I used to come on and, and host. It actually used to be a, a thing that I would come in and promote my shows with the various people that had shows. And it is entirely different, not only on this side, but of all the times that I've done that, this is the very first time I've performed live here. So... First time ever. Well, you know what? I am, on, I am honored to be part of it. It seems well, no course. better. I was I was kind of uh, your mentor as you came, and I taught you the ropes That's in true. here. And uh, I'm hoping that over time you will teach me how to play something so that I can dazzle my wife. That seems like a fair trade. And let me just say publicly what he said. I echo the sentiment. Everything I am on the radio, I owe to Ty. There we go. Yes. Yes. Good yes. or bad, I owe it all to him. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that. So, Robert, for those who are unfamiliar with your musical background, how long have you been playing and how did you actually get started in music? I started playing the piano, what they call by ear, uh, when I was four years old. I've since learned that it's much more effective when I play with my fingers instead of my ears. But <laughs> I started playing by ear, and at five, I got a teacher. At eight, I got a job, and I've been professional my whole life. Interesting. And and you have a, uh, a soft spot for Christmas music, don't you? I love Christmas music. I own it in my mind because I just feel such an affinity for it. And it's such a, a an emotional experience for me when I do the Christmas show every year. And I, I look forward to it all year long. And honestly, the first that I ever heard of you musically was we have our, we have in here to set the stage for our listeners. We have a row of CDs here in studio. If you're watching on Facebook Live, you'll see it right now from all the people that have come through here and performed. And Robert, we had one of your CDs huh. in there, your first Christmas album. And I took a look at that and I was like, huh, that's interesting. That's, that's an interesting looking guy. And it wasn't until Three weeks after you started here, you had been yeah. here for three weeks, ha. that I made the connection like, wait a minute, oh, that's, funny. that's Robert Hodge on that CD. That is funny. And so I gave it a listen, yeah. and you're a very talented pianist and well, singer. thank you so much. I, uh, I actually have been very proud of that Christmas album. That one came out a number of years ago, but I have a brand new album that's about to come out, and I am more proud of that than anything I've ever done, because we, we've, Andrew, my music partner, my business partner, we have started... Uh, our own studio and quite honestly I have never been so thrilled with the sound of an album that I've made and he has done a marvelous job recording and engineering it so I'm looking forward to that coming out. So tell us a little bit about the new album what can we expect? It's called Christmas at Home and it is uh, my arrangements of a lot of songs that you will know and some that you won't but uh, largely it's just my interpretation it's a very sophisticated New York-y cabaret swanky jazz club kind of setting uh, on the album. It's a theme album and, and you can just put it on and play. Grandma could cook Christmas dinner. You can wrap your presents. You can do whatever you want. You can avoid road rage in your car. It'll be perfect for all kinds of an all-purpose uh, holiday music CD production. And this CD release coincides with the show that we had teased a little bit earlier coming up. It does. In fact, um, the CD is on its way uh, to being duplicated right now and pressed. And it will be back in my hands next week. But we've decided on a little cavalier marketing approach for the first time. Rather than order several thousand CDs and try to sell them over the next year, we're putting it out at the show. And there are two shows, one at 2.30, one at 7.30. The CD will be available for the one and only time on the day of the show. At both shows, you can buy that CD, and then it's going to be hopefully sold out and out of print. That'll be it. So you might want to come get one. (laughs) 
<laughs> and tell the people when and where the show is and what they can expect mm-hmm. from a show. It is Saturday, the 23rd of December at 2.30 and 7.30 at the Kimball Theater. And I will be performing. I'll have my, my musical partner, as I talked about, Andrew Ballantyne, will be performing. And I have a special guest ballerina. She is absolutely a stunning performer. And she is going to be performing a very beautiful uh, classical ballet and modern dance mix to Carol of the Bells. And her name is Savannah Grogan. And you know her mom, Stephanie, runs <laughs> our office here. And uh, I am so excited that she's going to be making her debut in my show. And it's going to be just fabulous. So basically what you're saying is, folks are there, if you especially love listening to us on WMBG, you have more than one reason to go see oh Robert gosh, Hodge yes. in concert. More yes. than one. Absolutely. And maybe Ty will even show up, although he's threatening to be out of town early because it is the Saturday before Christmas. I know it's late, but one of the reasons I have two shows is for those people that are busy on the evening. I thought, well, you you can take two hours and enjoy yourself and spoil yourself and come out in the afternoon. So, Well, I highly recommend it. Having having seen you warm up, I can I can attest this dude's got some chops right here. He, yeah. He's not he's not faking around. Chop this, king. This, this man can play. Thank um, you. And you are uh, you're chomping at the bit to play too. I can tell you're well, chomping of. at the bit. Yeah, you you wanna you wanna display your skills to our well, listening audience. Yeah, I mean it's not so much a, a vanity thing, but you know what? I love music and I love performing. I always have, and I think it's it's really my specialty. So well, I could tell you were you were putting a lot of love and effort into getting this set up, getting that sound just right, and and it and, and it shows how much this Thank whole you. thing means to you and. Uh, Hopefully our listeners will recognize it when it starts playing through their uh, through their radios. I hope so. So, with that being said, we're going to take a quick commercial break. When we come back, Robert uh-huh. Hodge will perform here in the Super Sound Showcase, brought to you by Culture Fix. Stay tuned. We'll be Woo-hoo. right back. Oh, what a wild and wacky show those watching on Facebook Live got during that commercial break. Welcome back in to the Super Sound Showcase, brought to you by Culture Fix, back here in studio with Robert Hodge, who is about to perform for us so... Mr. Hodge. Yes. What is the first song Mr. You're, gonna, you're gonna be <laughs> you're gonna be performing for us today? Well, this is a medley that I created of two of my favorite songs about Santa Claus. One is Santa Claus is coming to town, the other jolly old Saint Nicholas. And it grooves and it bops along, so Excellent. Well, I am thrilled to throw it over to you. Give me just one second to get my mic set up and okay. then we will go. How was that for a finish right there? That was fancy. Can I get can I get one more of those? Yeah. Whoop, oh. I messed up. There we go. That's good stuff right there, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> that was catchy. It, it's just enough to get your yeah. to get you up and bouncing and moving and bubbly. That's good. What else you got lined up well, for and us? Well, plant a subliminal seed because that's actually the background music that you put in the commercial you did for the concert. So that sort of brings it back to life. We're so clever. You and I, know, I we're right? so clever. I am playing with your mind. A dangerous duo, he and um, I. As Ty said, I love Christmas music, but I found a song that's a hidden gem. It's from the 1940s, and I think it expresses everybody's opinion about Christmas music in a certain way. The first Noel was a silent night 
very quiet, so they say, because there weren't any Christmas songs for anyone to play. But count up all the Christmas songs you hear them playing now, and you'll know why each Christmas I repeat this solemn vow. If I hear another song about Christmas, if I hear another song about snow, or the carols by a choir, or chestnuts on a fire, or what goes on beneath the mistletoe, if I hear another song about Santa, like how Mommy kissed him all night long, would I hate it? No, I'd love it, cause I'm a sucker for a Christmas song. If I hear another song about Christmas, like that reindeer with a fabulous nose, or the carols on a wreath, or missing two front teeth, or what goes on beneath the mistletoe. If I hear another song about Frosty and his problem when the sun was too strong, would I abhor it? No, I'd adore it, cause I'm a sucker for a Christmas song. Another song about Christmas that involves a partridge in a pear tree, or a song about Jack Frost, or shepherds who got lost, or folks who all dress up like Eskimos, or a song about a little boy drummer and how they said his rumpa pum was all wrong. Would I detest it? No, I'd request it, cause I'm a sucker for a Christmas, sucker for Christmas songs. I love those fun finishes right there. You know, I'm not musically inclined. I, I have Thank a tough you. time recognizing everything, but I know that that little ending right there, it just fills me up with joy. It's just fun. Awesome. It's just, just fun. Just a little flourish. Exactly. Just a little, <laughs> a little drizzle well, on you, top Brian. to close it. And you have one more song lined up for us as well. Well, I got hundreds. Hundreds, well. Yeah, but I think we only have time for one. More. I wish we had time for hundreds, but yes, time I for one too. more. And before we let you play us out here, remind the folks where they can see you, when they can see you, and how they can purchase your upcoming CD, Christmas at Home. Okay, Christmas at Home is coming out on the 23rd. And um, you might be able to rest a copy out of my hands if you run into me beforehand, but the official release is at the shows, which are 2.30 and 7.30 at the Kimball Theater on the 23rd of December. And you can get tickets at kimball.wm.edu, or you can call 757 757- 814-0235. And if you didn't get any of that information, you can certainly call me here at the radio station whenever I'm doing your show, 12 to 3. And uh, I would love for everybody to come out. Wonderful. Well, Robert, it's been a pleasure having you on. Thank you, Ty. It's been it's been so cool seeing this side of you thank apart you. from the radio side. And Amen. again, thank you to Culture Fix for sponsoring the Super Sound Showcase. Robert Hyde's gonna play us out now. Thank you for listening, everybody.
holy night. Merry Christmas.